Does Google <coughs> confuse you? I mean, I know Google confuses us all, but specifically, are you confused about the difference between a Gmail, a Google, and a G Suite account? That's why you're here, right? That's why you clicked on this video. Well, stick around and let me explain to you the difference between a Gmail account, a Google account, and a G Suite account today on Dotto Tech. Steve Dotto here. How the heck are you doing this fine day? And Google does a pretty good job of a lot of things, including confusing the heck out of us on a fairly regular basis, if the truth be told. And one of the things you think that they would do a little better job of communicating is what our relationship, what our accounts with Google are. But no, that's not the case. Uh, almost everybody I know is confused about the difference between a Gmail, a Google, or a G Suite account. So today, let's see if I can explain things to you. And this has been a good exercise for me because I think I have a better understanding now myself because if the truth be told, I was probably as confused as the rest of you when I started on this journey. Now, a Gmail account, Gmail was established, what, in 2004 it started. You used to have to be invited into Gmail. Do you remember that? There was a time when you had to be invited. You know, the Gmail account is typically what most of us start our relationship with Google at. All of the Gmail accounts have at gmail.com in the email address name. Now, they are free accounts, or actually, I should say they're sort of free accounts. They're supported through advertising. And of course, Google is also collecting information from us. Uh, so we are giving up a certain percentage of our privacy in order to have access to all of these services. We won't get into what that quid pro quo looks like, but recognize that there is no free lunch and Google is getting plenty of value out of giving us a free Gmail account. Now that Gmail address we also use to then log in to other free services that Google gives us access to, such as Google Drive, Google Docs, which has word processing, spreadsheet, Google Calendar, all of the different Google services that are part of your Google account, you can then access through that Gmail account. Now the Google account itself is similar to the Gmail account, but slightly different, or it's a, an augmentation of the Gmail account. You can also sign in to get all of those other services, to get Google Calendar, to get Google Docs and Google Drive, to have access to all of those services if you sign up for not a Gmail account, but a Google account. It's just a slightly different login, and then you can use your own address, your own email address. So I could use my at Dottotech address to sign up for a Google account. It's also mostly free, but it gives me access to all of the other services through that login, through that my own personal email addresses login. Here's another way of looking at it. All Gmail accounts are Google accounts, but not all Google accounts are Gmail accounts. You can have other email addresses, other logins that can allow you to access your Google account. Now, the other type of service that, G, that Google offers us is the G Suite account, and that is an entirely different beast. That is a paid for service that's designed for businesses. So it's not just a single personal login, but instead you have an administrator who can then designate different email addresses and different accounts and control all of those. And you pay by the user and by the services that are offered. And they can, they can range from about $5 a user and on up, but there are all sorts of additional functionality that's attached. Now, essentially you get access to most of the same things to Google Drive, Google Docs. You get a little bit more storage and that sort of stuff. You get a few extra features like Google Hangouts. You get some video conferencing tools, et cetera, added to a G Suite account. But for the most part, they're gonna look very similar to the end users as does a regular Google account. 
The difference is there's an administrative console and they can be administered as a business. Plus, you can also create a unique email address based on your business using a G Suite account. Now, there are a few other differences, uh, but that kind of shows the main differences between a Google account, a Gmail account, and a G Suite account. So for most of us, if you're happy with your Gmail account, don't sweat it, don't worry about anything else. Your Gmail account will access your Google account and it does everything you need. If you have a business and you want a custom email address and you need to control multiple users, then look at upgrading to a Google Suite or a G Suite account and take a look at what the different price points are and the different features that are offered in G Suite. If you have an email address that you're really attached to that is not a Gmail address that you want to use to access Google services, then sign up for a Google account with that account information with that email address. I think that explains it all. I'd love to see your comments. If I've missed anything or you can explain it better, please do so in the comments below. I look forward to what you have to add. Every week here at Dottotech, we host a free webinar called Webinar Wednesday, where we teach productivity and content creation. Check it out, there'll be a sign up link below. If you found today's video to be useful, please give us a thumbs up. And if you've not yet subscribed to Dottotech, then subscribe and make sure you ring the notification bell so you hear about any new videos that we post. Also, if you found this video useful and you think somebody else needs to be disabused of their confusion about Gmail accounts, Google accounts, and G Suite, then by all means, feel free to share this video with them. Till next time, I am Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.